What's up allies, welcome to another video. We have a new armor crate update and a firmware update that brings a lot of awesome features to the RG ally. So we're gonna break that down this video. And then there's also an awesome sell for the RG ally, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So the first thing that you're gonna notice with the new update is if you go to calibration now, you can now calibrate the gyros. As you can see here, this is my gyro moving if i put it on here this is how it should be so if i hit calibrate it calibrates it gives it a second to do so so that is how you now calibrate your gyro so the next feature that was added with amber crate is the fact that you can now set gyros towards games so as you go here you open up the game it's per game so you have to open up the game that you want go to gyro here and then here's where you can set your gyro so this is for cyberpunk as you can see here i can put it as my right joystick and i can come here put it always on or you can customize it to a button if you want and then it should work for you so we're gonna open up a game like cyberpunk and showcase what the gyro looks like all right so here we have cyberpunk running as you'll see i can tilt my rg ally now and you'll see the gyro moving again you can set this per button but again this is how i set it as always so if you like gyro this is pretty cool it's pretty cool to see them actually launch this feature and yeah this is pretty fun again you can set it to however you like use a button to use your gyro if that's something you we're interested in doing so the next thing that they added with emery crate now is they have different rows that you can choose from so if you go to real time monitor they have different selections so if you go to off it's off if you go to this one this is this little thing here and again you can move it too so here you go this is us moving it so again different ones to choose from to have this one as well and you can move it as well so again different ones and this is pretty neat to see so again check this out if you were interested so next feature if you go to the help center here there's something called a feedback hub you can come here and i guess leave your feedback so this is pretty neat it shows that asus really cares about what we think about this device and some of the stuff that they can do to improve it so definitely make sure you check this out another thing that was added here if you open up the command center you now have the keyboard option here so this is pretty neat normally you would have to push a command to get the keyboard so it's pretty neat that this is now added here in the command center so another awesome thing that was added is if you go to settings here go to operation mode go to gpu settings you can now toggle all of the advanced graphics so instead of having to open the amd software and mess with that so here you can just toggle whatever you want on and off so again ris you can turn on boost you can turn on and rsr you can turn on from this menu so i think that's absolutely incredible another thing that was added is an updated battery icon here it shows slow charging tooltips when you're charging your device here i have a really tested this one out but it's pretty good to know that that's here as well so another thing that was added is that if you take a screenshot or video and you go to content here to my media gallery you can now share this by pushing rb here and you can share this to your discord or twitter and instagram so this is how you do it so another feature that was added is that you can now toggle cpu boost on this device from the command center so again if you want to boost your cpu you can now do it from the command center so another thing that was added to this update is the joystick respond curve so in order to do that it's per game so you need to just open up the game profile for game here go to left or right stick click whichever one and you see it here so this is how you adjust the respond curve for your joystick so this is pretty incredible as well so finally the last thing that was added is extreme standby mode in order to get that you just need to go to settings here go to operation mode go to eco assist and here you have extreme standby mode this should help your device when you do power it off kind of like the steam deck in the nintendo switch where it saves on the battery when it's powered off so give this a try I haven't really tested it myself but let me know what your thoughts are on extreme standby mode so lastly i just want to let you guys know that the rg ally 
website is on sale the z1 processor for 200 dollars off as you can see here on best buy you can get this for 400 bucks and the z1 extreme is still 100 dollars off to where you can get this for 600 dollars people thought that this was going to be a black friday sale and leave but black friday and cyber monday are done and the sale is still here so again if you are interested in purchasing this this is an awesome sell but yeah you can get the z1 processor for 200 dollars off for 400 bucks all right that's all we have for you guys let us know what are your thoughts on this emerald crate update there's so much that came with this and it's pretty cool to see asus continue to just listen to the consumer's feedback and also provide updates that make this device really incredible appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out